Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to ARMS and today we're going to be continuing on with of course the Grand Prix and if you haven't checked out last episode as we played Bite and Bark, I definitely suggest you do. We took on level 4, got all the way to the end, destroyed everybody, more or less. We did pretty well and I was happy with it so you should go and check it out. But for now we're going to go ahead and check out Kid Cobra, another really cool character. Very cool, I really like how his eyes are two different colors and they're both a very cool synergized color. Green and purple is a very good color combo. Don't know too much about this guy. Don't know how he plays, but we're gonna find out together. Level four, I'm way more confident than I should be right now. <laughs> we're going for it and hoping that everything works out okay. Okay, so what does he have going on? Live from the snake park, the coolness to mystery, the force of the Arms Grand Prix is upon us. And who else would be here to share in this action-packed event but your buddy Biff? I don't know, who else? All eyes are on Kid Cobra. Literally, the views on his snakeboard videos are in seven digits. That's awesome. He's 19. Uh, if I was a betting man, I'd say his performance in the Arms Grand Prix will only add to his fan base. But what do I know? I couldn't make a video like that, much less upload it for millions to see. So he's snakeboarding and making rad vids. Anyway, Kid Cobra's online community is amped to the max because the Arms Grand Prix is starting now. And I think they actually... When they first revealed Kid Cobra, they revealed some gameplay and talked a little bit more about his backstory. I think he's also supposed to be like a live streamer as well, like a Twitch streamer. And obviously, they didn't say that exactly, but I think that was the insinuation, which is so cool. I can, you know, I'm a millennial too. I can get with that. You know, I'm hip with the kids, right? Okay, he's got the most dangerous throw in the arms league. Yeah, okay. Let's go. He's so fast, I love it. So we got some interesting choices. We got the Slap Amanda, the Hydran, which looks interesting. And of course, the Coolerang, which like I've mentioned before, looks like a fidget spinner. So he's even cooler with the kids. We'll do the Slap Amanda and the Hydran. We'll get that combo going on. Because Slap Amanda is nice and long range. So why are you grabbing right away? That is silly. See, because I can just do that. Wow, what a grab. That is so cool. One of the few characters that really seem to be using his feet pretty well. Hey, dude, get out of here. I'm gonna hit you with the, the Hydran. Now I am definitely used to bite and bark and used to using like um, homies and seekies because we use those in Twin Tells and then right after we use that in bite and barks episode. So I'm a little used to that right now, but I think I'll be able to make it work. Okay, so you dodged that, which was pretty good of you. Oh, you couldn't dodge those. So we got, this one right here does fire damage. But this right here, I don't know what, what kind of damage that does. Oh, hit that right over, Tian. Slap it, oh, I tried to slap it. Didn't quite work. Here. Make a move, yep. Oh, I sort of messed that up, but not too badly. Oh, he was dodging out like a king, though. A king that was dead and then mummified. What do you know? It's exactly what he is. Come on, oh, I messed that one. I need to move closer. Maybe that's my problem. Okay, that, that might have not been my problem, but I can just hop up and slap him in the face, but he just sort of pops up real quick. I really like that. I've been trying to look, I'm quickly trying to look on the ARMS website to see if they talk about a special ability. Um, giving him a super quick dash after uh, charging up. Okay, so if we charge up. Wow, we do, that is so cool. So that's his special move right there. And, and he can, you can heal up all day, dude. I don't know why he would start it with that if he's already at full health. I mean, maybe it's just sort of weirdly programmed. Oh wow, he even does a little flip. Look at him, he is so cool. Personality wise, he might be one of my favorite characters. And he just, he has so so much style to him. Like how, like his pants are cool. I like his pants. And if you know me, and if you watch my Tomo series back last year, you know I love a style and pair of pants. Even if zebras don't wear pants much, doesn't mean I can't appreciate something from afar. Oh boy, ow, 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 ow. That hurt. But I was able to block the most of it pretty darn well there. I gotta be careful, I gotta look out for an opportunity, like right now, to start using my special. And man, the Slapamander is a scary one, but you can see I was actually juggling him there, and I feel like that made me able to combo it up longer than you typically would be able to, but that's gonna finish it up for Master Mummy. Insane stuff right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm closing out of the arms tab. Now that I know his special ability, we should be good. I'm also waiting on like five different emails today. So I'm, of course, I'm not gonna, you know, be half interested in what I'm doing, but I'm just struggling a lot today. I'm a busy zebra. Because I'm, you know, trying to get this series finished up. I just finished up Mario Kart. I got a lot to do. Oh, we're going against the winners. The last episode, Bite and Mark. Can we prove that we are one better? Grinding on, it's Kid Cobra versus the Clockwork Cops, Bite and Bark. 
The thing to keep in mind about Buster Beach is, is the platform in the middle. You can walk over it, but don't get in the way of your punches. But it won't get in the way of your... Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because it's very uh, small, so it's too short to. Let's do that. Let's try out the cool rang. So this has a frozen effect. So we have both the fire and the frozen, which is interesting for this character. Like with Bite and Bark, we had arms that sit to a theme. They were all electric based, from my knowledge. From what I remember. Like maybe, maybe that, oh, that's a fire one right there. We never actually used that one too much. It just, I don't really like that arm too much. Like I really don't see its benefit, but that just means I haven't, you know, had the opportunity. So obviously if you might know its benefit, let me know about the, uh, which he has right now, I forget what it's called. But I tried using it on Ribbon Girl, and I used that on an easier difficulty, so it wasn't that big of a deal in the first place. But I just don't remember it doing too much for me. The Korang and the the Slapamander, whatever this version of the Slapamander is called, does sort of feel like a little bit of an oxymoron. Like, it feels like they both sort of trying to serve the same purpose, which I don't like too much, so I don't think I'm gonna be doing this combo again. Ooh. I don't wanna deal with Bark if I ha don't have to, but, because he's, he's a ferocious little pup. We learned that last episode. He was, I don't think we would have won against, um, you know who, uh, Headlock last episode if it wasn't for him. So we are slowly turning this around because he sort of took the lead there when he got his health boost, but oh, that's bad. All right, we are not doing so well. We have literally as low health as you can get. Grab him with that, take you out like that. I'm trying to hit you right now. Oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. That was sort of a mistake for obvious reasons, but oh gosh, come on. He is so low. Oh, oh, gosh darn it. We almost had the turnaround of a lifetime there. Oh, he's got some cool shoes too. The only thing I like more than, you know, cool pants, cool shoes. Going back to this combo, this worked out pretty well last time against Master Mummy. Master Mummy was sort of the least of my worries to be honest with you though. Like I wouldn't have ma like wouldn't have minded if we got our usually the most common thing, which is like a round nine master mummy, because I just feel like it would have been the easy round nine. Oh, but you know, I want to deal with the easy characters now, and then deal with the more difficult ones, of course, in the mini games, because the mini games are easier to clear than an actual fight most of the time, depending on the mini game. As long as it's not the uh, hitting the targets, as long as it's not that, and it's the other two, so it's a 33% chance of being something I hate. We lost the first round, but I feel like we have a decent start on the second round. That is just such a cool move. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake there, right there. Go for him. That was good right there. Oh, the Slapamander is what keeps him in the air, though. I could see why, I, like, I honestly think, if anything, the combo between the Slapamander and the Cool Rang was great for the super, but not for the normal combat. So that's a decent trade-off. And that's an interesting thing to think about. You know, while th something might not synergize perfectly in theory with this normal combat style, it might in the super, which is big. My phone is going off like crazy right now. I really hope I'm not getting like text messages like, oh no, I can't miss the litter box because that's happened before and it's not fun. <laughs> oh boy. Ah! Okay, hold on, hold on. Ready, set, slap. Oh, I, uh, bark, bark, now's not the time, dude. Now also to get, get you out of here, cut up. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it just I just spoke what it felt like. Okay, I'm just getting PvZ Heroes notifications. That's fine. Nothing to freak out about. I'm glad. Oh, you know what? I'm getting a lot of, because the video just went live. Okay. That's fine. Ooh. I gotta try not to like, you know, I always try to turn my phone off and not focus on what's going on in the real world while I'm recording, because you know, I wanna be in the zone for you guys, but. I'm waiting for some important emails today, so it just has to be that way. But we're to destroy the both of them! Oh gosh, I still feel so bad for Bark. Bite! Eh, whatever. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Here, have that. Little gift, little gift. Oh, I got him. It didn't get Bark, but that's okay. We are destroying him right now. We are bringing the heat. Oh, it's not, no, I can't. Come on, get over here. There we go, we are destroying him right now. That might be it, it is. He got us that first round pretty darn good, but we brought the heat for the second and third, and we were able to get a convincing win. Wow, what is that giant building in the background? I am curious what that could be. Oh, I don't know what you said, but cool. Next round, he is so cool. I look up to him, no! Not good. All right, Min Min. I am glad it is a more unpleasant character to go against here. 
Let's switch it up and play some skill shot. I'm not interested. <laughs> Let it get over with, Biff. I gotta do Slamamander. It's Slamamander here instead of uh, Slothamander. Oh, okay, that's decent. The thing about this one, like the triple shot's pretty nice for this game mode. The problem is that this triple shot is up to down instead of left to right, so it's not gonna have the same effect. Oh, I'm trying to slap you though. I'm trying to give you a good slap. Ooh. So it's just it's not gonna have that same opportunity, but so far we're taking the lead pretty decent. Oh. Oh geez. Oh, that was pretty nice right there. The the curve of the slamamander is really weird. Oh, you got me with that. You jerk. Get out of here. Oh, you just you can't hit it straight is another weird thing. I was able to dodge that stuff though, which is great. Oh man. Like if you oh you can hit it straight, it's just really weird. It's 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 almost picky. Okay, hit that. There we go, right towards you. That's gonna have you dodge all that. She's actually in the lead in points right now. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, am I taking it? It looks like I'm taking the lady. Yeah, we do it first try. That is a sight to behold. Was he doing a little backflip there out of victory? Oh wow, look at him doing some break dancing. He's just too cool for school. I mean, he's 19. He's probably graduating high school or something. Have fun with your life. Post high school, become a pro skate snakeboarder. That's cool. Okay, Helix should be a bad thing. Like, really, I feel like we are lucking out with taking some of the easier characters on right now. At least for me, in my opinion, these are easier characters for you. They might be you know, the bane of your existence. That's sort of the cool thing about this game. Uh, well, we've heard enough about Helix. Let's go. I think I wanna go with this again. This is definitely an important combo here in this map because we got a lot of stuff we can hit around. So, keeping that in mind. Oh, okay, not happening. Oh, I almost could have maybe frozen him there. Would have been great. Because I definitely wanna charge up as much as possible. Oh, nice. So like, like th this is definitely a character, once again, I would like to know a little bit more backstory because obviously, he has some different stuff going on with him. He's, I wanna call him human. Like Springman, Ribbon Girl, Min Min, they're all humans, but this guy, sort of a bit of a freak of nature. Like he, he definitely has some snake DNA in him. Is he like an experiment? Like Helix here? I'm not really sure. Maybe it's sort of like, you know, almost like a Dragon Ball kind of thing, where in Dragon Ball, there are humans, but there are different races of sort of animal type people but he's the only one we've really seen like that. Everybody else sort of seems to be either a robot or a genetic mutation like this guy or a human, except for him. Master Mummy is a human, but he's just dead. <laughs> but I don't know, it's so weird. Uh, let's, let's do double cool rank. Maybe not as good of an idea because most of the uh, tubes are broken at this point. Okay, that wasn't bad right there. Oh, we are getting them good. The shields are just not as big of a problem when we got this. Ooh. All right, I'm all charged up, so I'm gonna try to freeze him. Like, my goal right now would be trying to freeze him and then go in for the super, which was a dumb idea if he's already knocked down. I sort of messed up in my train of thought there, to be honest with you. Oh, that was as close as I can get with that one. Sorry if I'm not as outspoken right now. I'm just very, very focused on beating him up, ramming him through that thing. Ooh. Oh, I almost got hit by that one. He also has some freezing stuff though, so I gotta be real careful. Oh, oh no. Oh, I messed that up. I was trying to not go for a grab there, but I just pressed both of the buttons at the same time accidentally. This is an intense one, but I grab him again, grabbing him all day. Ooh, oh, I almost got him with that. And he's just, he doesn't expect it. Come on, one of those has to hit him. <laughs> All right, you make a move, dude. Yeah, make a move, make a move. And I missed both of those? You kidding? Don't turn this around on me when I have like almost full health. Oh, come here, do you? Oh, block it. That was dumb of me. Come on, you have like two health, dude. Get out of here. I don't need it to time out, because we got you. Helix is down. So we are actually breezing through this right now. We definitely struggled more with bite and bark. <laughs> we play Helix next episode. Stay tuned for that. But, yes, oh no, I just spilled my tea everywhere. Come on, oh no. The turn of events. 
Okay, here we go. I'm all telling myself, oh, I don't need my Mighty Mug this time. I won't spill it, you know, just one time. And of course, it's the only time I spill my tea. Kid Cobra versus a Silver Screen Queen Twintel. The drones that drop in during battle aren't something. What? <laughs> Come on, I hate how it does that. Anyways, let's do this one again. I, I think this combo is pretty good. Especially this, because like I can throw those out, I think. Like, it definitely has a height advantage since it is stacked up like that. And I can just sort of sneak those in there while I'm hiding behind the car. I definitely want to stay charged up as much as I possibly can. Ooh, that was that was a dumb mistake. But yeah, something about these drones, I wanted to know about that because sometimes these drones are a pain in the butt. If I could know more about them, that'd be great. Because sometimes they just like I am in the middle of punching and they will just, or they're or the enemy is like in the middle of the punching. Like their fist is halfway to me and the drone will just drop a bomb right in front of their fist and it will just you know explode at me and there's nothing I can do about it. Ooh, that was good. Didn't, oh, it did get her. I was gonna say it didn't quite get her, but it did. What do you know? Oh, that was a mistake. But she missed. Okay, I didn't miss, so look at that. Oh, oh. The fights are definitely way more intense at this difficulty, and it's so much fun. Once you can like not get your butt beat by it, like when I'm getting my butt beat by it, it's just frustrating. I don't wanna use the super here if I don't have to. If I can get her down, just like that, that was fantastic. Just keep doing that for a long time, forever, and I'll be done. But yeah, just keep doing that, and use my super this round, try to finish her off quick. Let's wiggle those arms for good luck, the good luck arm wiggle. Oh geez, she's dodging right away, but that's fine, because I go ahead and go at the grab, punch her back down. So this area does look like it's Los Angeles or something like that, because of course we got the, uh, the road that has all the celebrities on it, whatever it's called. That's not what I wanted, that was honestly a mistake. Like, I didn't mean to press that button. Well, that's the curse of having hooves when using controllers made for hands. Just doesn't work out well for me. So this was, I saved that super for nothing, is basically what I'm getting at, and that makes me feel awful. Ooh, I'm slapping you. I'm gonna slap you. There, no, how did that not get you? How did that not get you? How did that not get you? That one went right through her. I'm tired of, she, she's, she's cheating. Something like that, <laughs> she's a hacker. Get her. Get out of here, you hacker. Boom. Oh, I almost got her. Oh, I almost got her, but not quite. Oh, come on. So she's really bringing the heat this time. I just got, like, I feel like I'm, I'm being way too forward. I got my super before her, which is a great opportunity to take. You're just gonna dodge all day? I mean, I'm just throwing this all day, so. No, that's what you wanna do. Aha, now I throw out the slap. What a surprise. Oh, I got you, though. Bada bing, bada boom. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Nice, I think that's gonna be it. It is KO, so we did win both rounds without too much of a huge issue. No looming defeat. I think we've, have we 2 0 everybody biting bark? I think so. Great stuff, great start, I'm loving it. I think we're now halfway through, I think that was the fourth round. Great, I gotta be more careful with my tea so I don't spill it this time, which there isn't much of now, because it's on the floor. Match six, yeah, we're more than halfway through now. And honestly enough, Springman is definitely a character I wanna go against in a mini game opposed to fighting, because I feel like Springman would definitely cause me some major issues. We know about B-Ball. I'm just gonna punch the screen. Now, I'm not saying this won't be difficult, this actually still might be tough. Because he still might be a good, like, B-Ball player. Okay. He's just letting me start off easy. He's that confident. He's, he's really confident. He's really confident. He's giving me a head start. That's, yes, yeah, see, yes, see, see, now he's starting to bring it. He's wanting me to get a three point head start because that's what he thinks I'll need to even come close to a score, right? Oh, I got it all charged up there too. Charge shot's nice. Ooh, ooh, spike that ball. Don't you dare, thank you. So far we are doing fantastic. It's first to five, so if we don't get a hearing, I mean, if we do get a hearing, we win. Ooh, I messed it up. I hit the net. Ooh. The slam amender's actually been helping way more than I thought it would. Oh! Oh! Nope! Yep! Yep! Uh, uh, get over there! Get it over there! Come on! Yeah! Finish! Five points in the final second. Good stuff there. He's not just good at snake boarding, he's good at all sports. He's Kid Cobra. Let's go. I also love his chest protector. I think it's a pretty cool little add-on to it. 
Like, even though he is a rad dude that does extreme sports, he does take the time to be properly protected because he's got a lot of good stuff going in that, going on in that nog and he doesn't want to mess up by falling on it. It's a good lesson to learn. Or it's You don't want to learn that lesson the wrong way. Just learn it by other people's mistakes. Now, go ahead and wear your helmets if you're going to be doing cool rad stuff. It doesn't make you less cool. The only people who actually think that wearing a helmet makes you less cool are the uncool ones. I, I, I know that much from... Both experience and secondhand experience. Oh boy. Let's go. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, nice stuff. Boom. So I'm gonna try to take it. Like, I feel like definitely one of the only people who match Ribbon Girl here and the intensity of her movement would have to be this guy right here. So this is not gonna be an easy battle, I do not think, but it should be an intense one. As long as I can keep up with the heat. I sort of pulled from my block a little too soon there. Nice, that was good. I was trying to take the advantages while I can. He's all, I'm, I'm all charged up. I can get uncomfortably close to her, which she does not seem to like too much. Ooh. Nice. I think that's it right there. Holy cow. Like, And that wasn't like a bad run. I don't think she did badly. It's just these characters are both so incredibly quick. We can just have such a quick turnaround time on these matches. Let's go. He's just hard to stop when you get him when he when he gets going. Oh, oh, oh! And I'm so used to having bark around from the previous episode. Like I still feel like uh, incomplete. Like I'm not whole right now. Like what happened to my buddy? Oh, jeez. Okay, so this isn't a good start. She even got her super before me. Just slap her right in the face. Nope. Wow. Come on now. She's doing double buffs too. Oh. Ooh. Come on, get her, get her, get her, get her. Wow. Okay, she is outspeeding me with this one, but she wasn't able to dodge it completely. She should've just pulled up her shield. I feel like it was a really foolish idea to do what she did, but she might get the win right here. I am so low. Nice, that was good. Can I turn it around from here? Probably not, but I'll do my best. Oh, that was dumb of me. I was sort of a little too grab happy there. I shouldn't have been so forward with it. I think I need to be more careful. I gotta say, ARMS is one of the only games even when I'm playing on non-motion controls, that it gets me to sit up straighter, which is really hard for me. Because I always have like posture issues, you know, not be from being, I don't, I don't think it's from, you know, my own neglect. I think it's just from other lasting issues. But like, it's one of the only games that can encourage me to sit up a little more straighter, which I like. It's very cool. It's also good, of course, for speaking, because when you sit up, you protect more. Quick tip for those aspiring to commentate. I mean, if you need tips, I'm always up for uh, that kind of stuff. I was trying to give advice, but nobody, not too many people asked me to be honest. Okay, let's go ahead and beat you up. I'm getting sidetracked. Hop into the air. You're silly. <laughs> you almost blew yourself up there. But that actually taught me that I actually was not aware. And oh, that uh, while she was blocking, she can actually block the damage of the bomb. I thought the bomb would disrupt that. Okay, but that's another 1-1 one, one right there. And so that is great to see. And what was it, that was round seven? Because we are churning through it real darn quick. All right, so <laughs> computer's going off and going crazy and I just had to make sure, match eight. So that was match eight, or no, that was match seven. Mechanica. <sighs> I'm a little 50-50. I think that we might be able to handle Mechanica just fine, but at the same time, it might be a problem. Getting stoked. <laughs> it's Kid Cooper versus Scrapyard Scrapyard. Apparently the stage was built entirely out of old junk and scrap materials. The pipes in the center seem slapped together. They even have steam bursting out. You know what would be also cool? And once again, I keep on comparing, you know, some of the treatments Splatoon got to ARMS because honestly, their be their origin story is pretty similar. They get, you know, their new IPs for, you know, at the time, sort of new consoles, not as much for Splatoon as it is ARMS, but, and they just had hype. Wow, that was across the field. I love it. But I just have like that similar feel with Splatoon that I did, I mean, yeah, with I do with arms. So that's just really exciting. Ooh, that was good. Slap it on over to her if I can. I messed that up big time. Nice, okay, that was good. I think I can definitely outmaneuver her in a good way. But what I was saying is just like, one thing, another thing that Splatoon got that I would love to see arms get is that Splatoon got a very short running, I think it was like a one or two chapter manga, and it wasn't supposed to be long, it's not like they canceled it or anything. It was just supposed to be a little for fun thing to of course enrich 
the lore and the life of the game series. And I think that was so rad and I really appreciate that as a fan of Splatoon. And that would once again, like what if they did a 10 part manga and each chapter focused on the story of a character? That would be so cool. Come on, do something, do something. Do so, you're gonna, you're gonna sit here and dance? I, I've been made a fool. I've been made a fool. What, what? Come on, get her, get her, get her, get her. That's good, that's good, that's good. Can we finish her off? Yes, we can. <laughs> Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. She does sort of look like a lemon. <laughs> not because like, oh, that's not like, a, like making fun of the size of the robot. That's because it, it, it's the same color as one. I'm trying to be mean. People keep on telling me I'm being mean to Mechanica. Just making an observation that it's the same color as a lemon. It's not supposed to be offensive. Ooh. Oh, there you go. I love this. This, she's, this guy actually has a special ability I can really get behind. Like most of them, like I'm, I'm sort of 50 50 on. It's like, oh, if, I'm sure you can learn how to utilize this, but it's not the easiest to utilize. This one's great because it's just like you charge up and you go in. And I, just, I liked it a lot. I was not expecting to enjoy him as much as I am, but I feel the similarities between him and Ninjara in a very good way. So I'm really happy about this. I'm starting to find characters that are definitely for me. I have three characters now I definitely can say I work well with, at least in my opinion. Maybe I should hold on until I'm done with this Grand Prix to say that for certain. But so far, I'm really happy with my performance as Ninjara, Kid Cobra, and Bite and Bark. So I have those characters as a base to work on and you will not pull up your block for that one. So sorry, better luck next time again again. But I win this one. So we're moving on to the match and this is a quick episode. I mean, it's like a half an hour long so far. But that's pretty quick in comparison to the previous episode. I was at like an hour in by the time we finished everything. So this is quicker for sure. It's a semi-final though, going against Ninjara. We were just talking about you. Which one's gonna be better? Both very quick characters, match nine, one trick away. Okay, I'll skip all this. I've heard it all a million times. I totally didn't just burp then. This combo's actually working for me really well. Oh, we both charge up right away. That is really intense. Ooh, you're dodging it. I'm dodging it. I got you. This is such a cool battle. These characters are similar in such a good way because they're so cool and intense. And I'm such a fanboy. Oh, I threw it right as the charge ended. That was that was foolish of me. Ooh. That didn't freeze him for some reason. That was weird. I'm just trying to hit this. I can't hit this for the life of me. Stop. There. He's not even near it anymore. No! Gosh darn. I should have punched it. I shouldn't have tried to dodge. Nice. Oh, I love the sky. You got like a quick glimpse of the sky there. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful day in Ninjara Town. I don't know what this place is called, so I'm gonna call it Ninjara Town. Maybe that's silly of me. I mean, Ninjara lives here. I'm sure he's like a cool, popular guy. I got a little bit of damage here. Ooh, can this finish him off? It could, but it won't. He dodged it, because he's a cool ninja. Of course he's gonna dodge it. Ooh, ooh, slap him on the side. Hit him with the, the fidget spinner. <laughs> That's a dumb joke. I gotta stop making it. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. Oh, I surprised him with a, a little slap. Can I get another one in there? Oh, that almost got you, dude. You gotta be careful. So I gotta remember that. A straight slap amender is really great for close range, like right now. Oh, or not? I messed it up. We got ten seconds left, but we are in the lead. So if we need to, which we might need to. I might just let this time out because I don't want to use that super down. And we get the victory that time for sure. Nice. Okay. So we should be good with this. I like this combo a lot. So he's gonna charge, should probably do the same thing. You wanna do something? Pull a trick out of your hat. See what happens, you get beat up. Or not, or not. Oh, come on, dude. Insane. I mean, maybe I was a little too far out and that was probably my issue. I definitely took a risk by doing that, but definitely thought it was worth it. He is quick though. You don't want to get too close to Ninjaran because he can just, you know, be all over the place. I'm going to knock him down there and if, I'm gonna, if I can knock that right towards him or miss it. Come on. No, it's yours. Take it. It's your, your place. You got to take it. You got to own up for what's being dropped in your location. There we go, gotcha. 
So right now, it's actually, we're pretty even on health. Oh, and that's what I'm talking about. What's tough about Ninjara? I don't want to waste my super again. I almost have it, so I need to make sure I'm using it correctly. Ooh. Oh, he got me good there. He's gonna go for the healing, which I do not like. Oh, come on, he's so good at dodging supers. That's why I loved him. Come on now. Oh, man. That was good. He was waiting for an opening. There we go, that was good right there. I tried to make sure that he dodged first. Oh, and I know I'm really silent with this fight, but it's a tough one. It's a real toughie. Right now, I am not in the lead. Come on, make a move, make a move. Oh, right on the final, zero, zero. We slap him down. Oh, I know, I'm sorry for the silence. I know it's not as engaging as a video when I'm sitting here in silence, brooding, just trying to fight, but that was a moment where I needed it. Nice, so we made our way through all the preliminaries. Time to go against Max Brass, which might be a little bit scary. We'll make it work, we will make it work, and we'll go in for the win. I definitely think as a character I relate most to Kid Cobra, he does some cool stuff and he likes to share it. Like making the videos and stuff, that's really cool. Here's Grand Prix Finale is here at last, listen to that crowd, the fans are fired up, it's Kid Cobra versus the Commission Max Brass. His main hobby is stomping down punks who jump up and step up to the king, you heard? He's not gonna take a too kindly to a snake border coming for his throne, but don't let that moment get to you, kid. Strike like a snake and take that champ in ship or something. I just sort of have to fill in the blanks when I miss it. Wah! Okay, that's good. Oh, ow, oh, that hurt. I don't know how I'm gonna do against Max Press. It's a little bit scary. I mean, we did great against Max, or not for <laughs> against Mechanica and Master Mummy. So I can only hope that's gonna be similar situation here, but Max Press definitely is a little bit more quick and nimble than those two. While also being a big heavyweight that hits like a ton of bricks. Oh, I hit that, but you're not going towards it. You are too busy chuckling. And I don't wanna deal with no chuckleheads. Ooh, got him with that. But yeah, this, Cool, whatever it's called. Uh, ooh, just doesn't seem to actually freeze them, which I don't like. Ooh, that might get you, not quite. Oh man, you're getting me with that a lot, I don't like it. Oh, come on! Cause he, like, even though I'm sinking blocking him, he's got like this, this kind of Seeky arm where it explodes and it does damage anyway, so it's like I can't block or I'm in a bad situation, I just lost. Jeez, that stinks. I really don't like going against those arms. And I don't know what those arms are. Once again, I think they're exclusive to Max Press. I haven't seen a single other character have those. We're trying it again. But I hit him with the wraparound right away. Or not, it just barely missed him. No, not happening, dude, sorry. Ooh. One thing I do notice is that whenever I throw this, it's not called a cool Amander. Whenever I throw that, he jumps. Obviously, because it's gonna wrap around, he wants to be able to dodge that. My goal right now is maybe to build up my super and try to throw this, get him to jump, and then pull out my super. That might be a good strategy right there. Come on, dude. I'm not appreciating this one bit. Ooh, get him to jump. Oh, he didn't jump that time. Okay, that was silly of me, but I still got him in it. See, this time I'm hitting my super, you jerk. I have a decent lead in health right now. I'm not charging up as much as I probably should. Well, I am charging up, and just not utilizing the dodges I get from it. Ooh, I got him there. Ooh, can I slap him? I could before he can land much super damage. And now he's out of a super. I am too, but that's good because he won't have any advantages going into this third and final round, which is green. We're going with what we love. Oh, once again, just barely missed. Ouch. All right, charge up. Hit him with that. But for whatever reason, I lost my charge when, I don't know why I lost my charge, Aaron. There we go, he's frozen, grab him now. That, like really, we don't freeze people very often even though we land that. Not in often, knock that over there. Okay, that didn't hit me, but it didn't hit him. Oh, okay, okay, charge up, let it rip. Oh, this is a close bout right now. Oh man, 
Oh, okay, I got him anyways. Oh, watch out, that's gonna explode. But on top of him, didn't do too much. Now I have my super. Ooh, I sort of pressed the wrong buttons, but I retracted my grabs somehow. Don't know how I did that. He is so low, I am not. Here is my time to shine, we're doing it. Not quite down yet. Can that wrap around? It went through that dude, did you see that? It went through his big old barrel chest. Gosh darn. Ooh. Come on, I am not beating, I'm not losing this dude, I'm beating him, I'm beating him. Can't speak, because I'm so focused. Oh, come on. Yes, there we go, we took him down. Now I gotta take on Headlock, I and mean, that was a struggle. How tough is Headlock gonna be? I am not sure, but I just drank the rest of what was little left of my tea. So we're all in. It's, it's all or nothing. Let's do it. All right, so I might actually skip this. We just saw this last episode, so I'm sure you guys understand the cinematic of this cutscene. Can I skip it? Uh, yeah, I'll, I don't know. I, I won't skip it, because it's such a cool cutscene, but I just won't really pay too much attention to it. We're doing great as Kid Cobra. It started out fantastic, but it's been sort of slowing down because these characters are really challenging. I feel like I did better with Bite and Bark in this situation, but at the same time, maybe my memory is just messing with me. Because we did lose a couple times with Bite and Bark, and we had to, you know, take it on the third round. Well, we haven't been seeing many third rounds here for Kid Cobra. Now, Helix, I'm not looking forward to in the next episode, which is the last episode for now, uh, because I just don't think I'm gonna do that great. But it's time to go against Headlock. What a turn of events, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna keep with this. But of course, I haven't mentioned that. If you do play Kid Cobra and you wanna give me some tips, let me know in the comment section. Ooh, we grabbed it right away. You know, his chest is so big you can have a three course meal on it. Of course we can grab him. Which isn't a bad thing. Not making fun of him. I just think sometimes people think my one liners are like supposed to be mean spirited, but sometimes I just think he's cool. You know? I wish I had a big bounding chest and was completely made of muscles. Maybe not. I don't think I, I really fit the whole muscle style. And we are bringing it to him right now. Maybe level four difficulties starting to get too easy for me. I mean, I'm sticking with it no matter what. Like, he likes next episode, definitely probably not gonna be able to do more than level four. I'm not expecting, like, I'm expecting I might even have to go back to level three for Helix because he just doesn't seem to be my character. But look at that, the first round didn't even blink once. And that's the thing about Kid Cobra is he can just do that. And it's fantastic. I'm gonna charge up with a bit of that. He's gonna go for that, but then I'm gonna go for the grab. And I still have, like, that round went so quick we didn't even have time to charge our supers. He threw out every single fist there, and sort of wildly. And that's sort of the thing is that this guy flails. He definitely flails, and if you know arms, you know that flailing is actually probably one of the worst things for you unless you're in your super. Of course, the super is like when you flail. Oh, I was gonna pull my super there, but my arm's busted. That's the first time that's really happened to me in a while. Okay, so he's really taking the charge this round. Go for him now, go for him now, that was great. That was really darn great. But I could have landed more damage, to be honest. I should have gone closer if I could have. Ooh, I froze him though, go for the grab. Nice stuff right there. Can we get a repeat of that? Oh, I had the quick dodge, because I charged. Oh, that was a mistake though. That was definitely a mistake. Oh, that might hit him, that might hit him. Oh, look at that, finishing him off with the bomb the first try, we two and oh, headlock. Okay, I definitely did better with this guy than I did with Bite and Bark. No diss to Bite and Bark, Bite and Bark is great, but we got ourselves 60 points for that one and I will gladly take every single one of them. Yes, that creep is down for the count. Ooh, look at me, dancing. Hold on, I just received some intel. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what if it's just totally misinterpreted? He's just giving a little note. <laughs> Goodbye. That's fine, that's fine. See ya, dude. It's a little twinkle in the sky. Team Headlock blasting off again. I'll get you next time. That'd be interesting if, it, if he became a Pokemon. I mean, he sort of does look like a Geodude, doesn't he? Maybe he's some kind of defected Geodude. I mean, in this world, there are Pokemon. What if this was like some weird twist that this was in the Pokemon universe? <laughs> That'd be so weird. It wouldn't make any sense either, so I'm, I'm glad that's not the case. But like imagine, we're just playing through Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, where you just walk in on an arms battle. It'd be crazy. Okay, let's look at the final results. Lots of cool stuff going on here. 
Man, we did great. We didn't lose many rounds at all. I'm really glad about it, because that's just fantastic. Ugh, I'm gonna sit up a little bit. Get ready to go crazy. I <laughs> say that so somberly. The new grand champion! Bada boom, the speed demon kid Cobra. He is so cool. His waistline is so thin though. From a snake board to arms lord, congratulations. Yeah, he wins. That's another arms crew grand, grand prix draw circles. I'd like to thank all the competitors and the fans at home. Very cool, see you next time, folks. He has so much style. He's a cool one. Then he break dances out. And we got the credits again, which of course we'll skip. But there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, that is so cool, look at him. With all the Min Min fans. They all have like Min Min and, yeah, they just sort of dress like Min Min, but they all have this Cobras on his head. <laughs> like a piff in the back, he's like, hey, I wanna be in the selfies. Just barely in at the corner of his face. He is so cool. I love him. Wonderful, run into Kid Cobra at a convention one day. <laughs> Probably not, because he's a fictional character. We got more to do though. We're gonna get some arms, see if we can't get three of them like we normally do, short timer. Let's make it happen. Last time I barely was able to do it. Let's get the lucky arm wiggle. Boom, punch that. His punch is definitely slower. But I am getting better at this. I hope, I hope I didn't just jinx myself. Nice. Oh, I didn't get that. There we go, that was good, that was better. It'd be cool if you hit the clock multiple times you get like more than one instance, but that's not really the case. Nice, I barely got that one on the left. Got that. Got. This, come on, come on, come on. Got a little bit more left to do. Got a few more seconds there, which is great. Five seconds goes a long way in this. Come on, where's the present? Oh, it's on the right side. Yeah, just barely got it. That was great. I just sort of, I heard it coming on the right side, so I punched for luck and we get the third one. We got the popper. Well, while they may look fun getting caught on their dizzying spin is anything but a party. They're great for surprising opponents though, so they spin you apparently, that's weird. We got two twin tail arms, Slamamander extending across the battlefield like sharply curving whips. These arms snake expand and send opponents flying when they connect. So that's what these do, the, the green effect. And then we did get a Kid Cobra arm, it is the Phoenix. These wild birds dart up down left and right as they please, and when they catch fire, they look about as cool as anything ever. Very cool, three more arms for us and a Grand Prix one level four difficulty as Kid Cobra. What an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and of course, if you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Cobra so that you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and click on some of the ones on your screen right now to enjoy more Zebra-tastic goodness. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.